Hello class, welcome back for another exciting video. In this video, I'm very excited to share with you a much easier way to extract, slice, or parse fields. So you should have downloaded the file read list split dot py and file read sample split dot text. And here is that file. Very similar to before, I have a uh, record or row. I have one, two, three, four, five rows three columns. Brian's the first column or field. Candido is the second column or field. And the third is the salary. And if you remember in my previous examples, we had to do what we call parsing. We had to search for the comma, back up one and slice it out, add one, search over for the next comma, back it up and pull out Candido, add one, go to the end, slice it and convert it. I want to show you a piece of code that will make it so much easier for you I hope it will excite you. So I'm going to come over here. We have the matplotlib as usual. This piece of the code is exactly as in my previous vid video. We call a function called read data from file where we extract out from this file a list of first names that goes here and a list of salaries which goes here. Everything else is the same. We plot the first names as the x-axis of the bar graph, and we plot this as a y-axis. Let's just actually run it so you can get a uh, feel for what it looks like. Okay, so notice I put the data out to the screen. We're going to come back to this momentarily, so I'm just going to move it over to here. And this is what I really want you to look at, is this chart is just like in my previous uh, YouTube video. And what happens is the, tar uh, the title of the chart goes here, and then we grid it, we put grid lines in, these are grid lines, and then we show it. The big difference is how we read the file. As in before, we have the three lists, and I ask you, why do we have three lists? Well, we have three lists because we have first name, last name, and salary. And then we read the file, we strip the new line character, which is right here, and notice we have begin and end, but we don't even need any of those anymore. What we do is we call the record split function. We ask Python to take this one whole record, which is read in up here. Remember, record input gives me from the bean candido up to the end, including the new line character. We split up the new line character, and I then ask Python to split this. What the split does is it takes this whole record, and then it splits it using this character. Because comma separate it, it separates them into three different entries in another list called S fields. So S field zero, square bracket zero, refers to Brian. S field square bracket one refers to Candido, remember zero base, and S fields two refers to 42.5. Much better than doing that crazy parsing and uh, slicing. So I just want to make sure you understand, when you read a whole record, for example, when we do the moose record, we strip out the new line character, and we ask Python to split these into three separate fields. Moose would go here, Bazador would go here in 75. Much easier. And I append the first name, which is Brian, to the name list. And here, I check to see what field 2 is. Is it a, I call this function, and it returns back either an interflow and I'm able to convert it. And I add that to the list. I read the next record, and I'm ready to go. So what I did here is when I output the record, actually, let me clean up the data file. Okay, let me shut this down. We'll say exit, we'll say save. And when we run the code, what I wanted to show you is this split takes those fields, puts them into another list that has three entries, first, last, and salary. And you can see here's one record that has been split apart. Here's a second record that's been split apart, and the third. So this one line of code takes the place of all that uh, slicing and finding. And I hope you appreciate it. 